Game day. Yeah, you know, and I understand the attention. Uh, me not being there was a big deal, but uh, just I want, to spend, I want to spend my time recognizing what was actually accomplished uh, a couple days ago. You know, our team, um, and and maybe they maybe they will, you know, get the credit that they're that's uh, that they're due. Uh, but a tremendous testament. To, uh, to the coaches and the players, uh, especially uh, everyone, everyone coming together, and uh, it's a great, glorious victory for Michigan. Um, you know, I have this, I have this saying. You're probably pretty familiar with it. I use it mostly, um, really exclusively with, you know, just the team or uh, or my family. And it's you know, who's got it better than us, and. Um, Proper response is no, but, and um, something passed out from from my dad, Jack Harbaugh. Um, it's more than just a cool saying. Um, you know what I'm really saying when I'm talking to the to the team or the players is what I'm really stating to them is that there is no coach who could possibly have it better than to coach you. There's no there's no dad that could possibly have it better. Uh, when I'm talking to my kids, um, that's that's my love language, and and when they say nobody back, you know what I'm hearing them say is, uh, you know they, they they love their team, they love their teammates, they love the direction of the program, and uh, you know, nobody could have it better than uh, than to be here. So that's my emotions. You know, that's that's how I'm feeling. You know, once again, you know walking walking up the steps of Schimbeckler Hall today and, and seeing that sign, those who stay will be champions. Uh, resonated today like it resonates every day. Um, our goal of being Big Ten East champions has been accomplished. You know, now we move to uh, taking our shot at being Big Ten champions uh, for the third straight year. And as I said, the um, the coaches, the staff, you know, especially uh, Coach Jerome Moore, uh, you know, called a great game, coached the offensive line, and uh, and made the decisions as the head coach. And, and I, I'm not saying that I'm in a position of of uh, granting who a Michigan man is or who isn't, or who a Michigan legend is or or is not. Not the maker of, of those two lists, but uh, I have nominated people before, and I nominate uh, Sharon Moore uh, as, a, as a Michigan legend. And I'll talk for a little bit more, maybe, and, uh, but I definitely want, want Sharon to come up and, and talk about the game and, and, and let him take a deep, long bow that he, uh, that he so rightly deserves. And, and our players, too. Um, you know, there, there's so many. You know, I go through this game and, and, and you talk about the guys, I mean, the defense, um, you know, such, a, such a tremendous game, the three and out to start the game, the, the interception by Will Johnson uh, limited their run game to uh, their longest was 12 yards. It really made them drive the football the entire game. Uh, didn't make anything easy and then made the key plays when they needed to be made. Will Johnson, Rod Moore, uh, also nominating them as uh, Michigan legends. Mikey Sammer still already is. Another tremendous game by him. Chris Jenkins had a monster game of, uh, of uh, defeating blocks and uh, monster performance. Uh, Junior Colson had 11 tackles, um, played with pain uh, in the other hand. Um, you know, just a Gritty, gutty performance by Junior. Um, Quentin Johnson, uh, you know, the, the clean play he made, the, the big hit. Um, saw somebody reference that back to 1997. Hit, I thought that was that was really cool. Um, and somebody really, we talk about those who stay will be champions. I mean, not an instant starter here. Um, Quentin came up and really made his name on the special teams. Contributing valiantly uh, this year, uh, amazing story. Mason Graham, 
you know, well, one of the most popular players on our team. But again, another another tremendous performance by Mason and KG and Derek Moore and, and Jalen Harrell. Uh, offensive side of the ball was uh, was tremendous as well. The um, the offense made the drives, made the plays, answered the scores. Um, they made the big plays when we needed them. The fourth, the fourth down calls were were impeccable by uh, by Sharon. I just the uh, you know the dive pass that we threw on fourth and one to Colston, you know, just tremendous. Um, and JJ McCarthy once again guarding a victory for our team. Had a tremendous game. Um, has had a tremendous season, tremendous career. Uh, Blake, Blake Corn, on his birthday, on my parents' 62nd wedding, wedding anniversary, uh, got his 22nd touchdown of the season. Uh, already a Michigan legend, as Dono is, and, and Kalel Mullins too. Um, you know his his blocking was uh, was tremendous in this game. All the receivers, uh, Cornelius Johnson, um, his blocking. His catch, uh, his leadership, already a Michigan legend. Uh, Roman Wilson, a Michigan legend. Uh, and also Tyler Morris had a heck of a good game, too. All the tight ends. Uh, Colson Loveland, you know, he's, he's our version of, of Travis Kelsey. Uh, you know, he's that kind of superstar player. A.J. Barner had a, had a big game. The, the, the wide delay screen was, was huge. Again, another timely call by, by Sharon. Uh, Max Bredesen, uh, if he's not, I nominate him. Uh, you know, he, Bo, Bo used to say the identity of the team is, is uh, the fullback position on offense and the strong safety on defense. And there's no question that Max Bredesen uh, gives us that identity from that position. All the offense line, Zach Zimmer, uh, Drake Newton, um, Trev, uh, Trevor Keegan, LD, uh, Carson, uh, tremendous. And when when Zach, Zach went out, uh, Carson came down to, to right guard. And then Trent Tate Jones um, came in at right tackle. And that, somebody that doesn't get a lot, of, a lot of recognition. So let me talk about Trent Tate a little bit. Um, you know, he's, as I look up and see him waving the flag, you know, from, from last year. Uh, you know, he's one of my favorite players. I love seeing number 53 out there. He's been an extra old lineman. He's he's been a selfless player, and uh, went in at right tackle, played great. <clears throat> um, you hate to see that that uh, Zach is is hurt, but what an opportunity now for for Trent Day to show uh, what he can do as that as that next man up. I'm so excited uh, to watch him. Speaking of guys that have come back from injury, uh, Braden McGregor to see him have the, the kind of year that he's had this year has, uh, has been phenomenal. Um, yeah, turning over to the special teams, uh, James Turner making those three field goals. And we, had, uh, we had Jake Moody for the last so many years, uh, Michigan legend, and uh, James from Saline right here to come into the big house against uh, two undefeated teams. And, Make that difference, and also shout out to uh, to Wags and uh, Tommy Doman, that that battery of snapper, holder, and kicker, and uh, and the protection. Protection you can't get that you can't get that kick off if you don't have the protection. Another guy who's come back from from injury, Reese Atterbury, you know, was in there on the on that protection. So yeah, there's stickers going to to all that were on that field goal unit. Um, and all that were on the kickoff unit too, who were covering that last kick that um, pinned them inside the, the 20 yard line. Um, just been a tremendous, uh, tremendous, uh, uh, as I said, I mean, just, who could possibly have it better? Who could possibly have it better than us? How are you going?